Hello, my name is Yannis Dizogl and in this tutorial I'm going to answer one of my subscribers' requests. Um, somebody requested for me to um, put to create a toggle button which will protect and unprotect worksheets which will hide and unhide columns. So in order to do this we use VBA, Visual Basic for Application, and a toggle button. So basically, just to explain to you how I've reached to this stage here, what I did, I just selected this column, the first column, let's delete that. Uh, let's unprotect this. Uh, review, unprotect. Just gonna put the password. I'm gonna highlight this, delete them. Right, let's go to developers tab and let's delete this one as well in fact i'm not going to delete the toggle button i've got the code behind it as well I'm just going to push this there so basically uh what you need to do if you cannot see the developers tab uh, you need to go to file select options select the um, customized ribbon and then che check the box that says developer and click OK. Now with the developer tab selected, you can go to uh, insert and then select the ActiveX from the ActiveX controls uh, section, select the toggle button. When you hover over, you can see toggle button. Uh, once you add the toggle button, you can actually right click, select properties, and then you can customize the toggle button by changing the background color, by changing the font color, by changing the font size. So if I go to font and click on the three dots, you can change the font size, etc., etc. So that's how I've changed my toggle button, and I named my toggle button appropriately as well. So you just need to put the right name there. Anyway, let's delete that, call that. So that's how I've reached the toggle button. Then I've just created, uh, added some background colors for uh, the first few columns. I did four, just to show evidence of hiding multiple columns. So I've got here four columns and I've got a toggle button. So if I double click on my toggle button, if you cannot double click the toggle button, this is because you are not in design mode. So to double click the toggle button to, in order to go to the code, you need to be on the design mode. Alternatively, you just click on the Visual Basic. I always prefer to do the go through the design mode and double click on the toggle button. So it's gonna give me the private sub here. And the end sub ended here. So this is what you're gonna have. You're not gonna have all this code. I'm just gonna explain all this code in a second. All right, so let's call this code. So when you start, when, by double-clicking your toggle button, you will be able to see this. In my case, I've called this toggle button TB underscore show hide. Now, let's paste this code. Then what I did, I've created two variables. Previ previously, in some other video tutorials that I've done as well, I've created the similar variables as well. So dim, the dimension, the variable, is called my C. And I assign the string data type. Then I've got another dimension, another variable called my pass, and I'm going to assign again the string data type. Then I will say my pass is equals to input box, so capital I, capital B, open brackets, and then with the double speech marks, quotes, I'm putting my message. Please enter the password. Then I create an if statement. I'll say if my pass, which is my variable, is anything but one, two, three, then show the user the message box and the message box is wrong password okay let's put you have entered the wrong password please try again then we say active seat dot protect triple ones we can let's change that to let's say to five four four fives okay then we say basically this line of code 
will protect our worksheet because the password is, is wrong, our worksheet is vulnerable. So we make sure that the worksheet is protected. Then we assign a value to my C. Now in this case, I put triple X. Triple X is right to the right, very far down. Basically, it's a column that I will never use. Uh, in your case, if you do use the triple X column, you might want to put uh, four X's there. Put a column that you don't really you, you are you are not going to use. Now we could actually comment this out or delete this line of code. It will still work fine. But as a programmer, it's good practice that when you have a variable, always assign a value. You don't want any error messages to come up when people are using the application. Then we'll say otherwise. If it's anything but one, two, three, show us this. Otherwise, this means that the value is one, two, three. Active sheet dot on protect. Now we put triple five, four, uh, five, four fives. And then we assign the value my C equals B C. So these two uh, columns. And then I'm referring to the toggle button. I'll say if the toggle button value, okay, show height contains a value, then application dot active uh, seat dot column my C, which in this case is B and C, dot hide equals true. So it's going to hide these two columns. And then I'm so I'm on protecting the worksheet here. I'm apply the value. I'm hiding the columns. Then I'm protecting again. Otherwise, if it's on hide or uh, uh, hidden, then we say on hide it. And then again, we're protecting the worksheet. And then we end the if statement. And then we end the if statement. Hope this makes sense. So you can pause the video so you can copy the code. So I'm going to close this, go back here, and I'm going to more, remove the design uh, mode. So I'm going to click once. Now, if I don't type anything, you have entered the wrong password. Please try again. If I click again, I type one, two, three. Click OK. Nothing happens, but probably because it's, it's, I've used it before. So if I type one, two, three again. All right, let's have a look. Something happened here. All right, OK. Because I'm, pro I'm protecting, I've changed the password, that's all. So let's put here four fives, uh, four fives here. Okay, let's try again. So click once. Let's stop the debugging process. One, two, three. Okay, because I've gave before, I hidden before the. Uh, let's cancel that. Let's stop the project. We have four fives, so let's go to review and on protect with one 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 one. Okay, so I'm up, uh, I have on protected the worksheet. So if I click now again, one two three. Now I'm protecting with the four fives. Okay, it works now. So if I click there again, one, two, three, on hides it. And if I click here and type nothing, the wrong password. If I click and type whatever, the wrong password, that's fine. If I highlight now this, this is for Mo Abdul. I bet you're laughing now and you love it. This is exactly what you wanted, isn't it? Right, okay. So if I have not made anybody else in the world happy, I'm pretty sure I've made Mo Abdul happy. So he wanted to do this for a long time. So he helped me a lot. Mo Abdul is the is a legend in spreadsheets. He helped me quite a lot of on uh, producing some other uh, good video tutorials that people appreciate. Uh, so I think it's uh, it's the time for me to pay back. Just one more final thing uh, that I forgot to mention. Uh, when you do put toggle buttons, you need to go to File, Save As, and make sure the project that you're saving 
is Excel Macro Enable Workbook. If you don't select this option, your VBA code will be deleted. Just to avoid a, a disaster and do this everything again from scratch, I thought I'm going to just expand this video tutorial by introducing you to Excel Macro Enable Workbook. Click Save. And when you close the application, uh, you can see the workbook here. If I open it, enable content. If I go to the Developers tab and Visual Basics, the, visual, the VBA code is there. If I type here, I will be able to still use the code. Anyway, I hope this helps as well. The less, um, let's say, experienced people in Excel. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I hope you've learned something new today. Uh, I hope you will use this skill to protect and unprotect columns, to protect and unprotect uh, worksheets. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.